What's going on my kitsunes? It's your favorite retail Fox Foxy and welcome back to a brand new series here on the Foxy Ikari YouTube channel. And in today's brand new series we're going to be bringing back an old classic out here, Theo Town, I believe. Think And if you don't know what this game is basically, think of it like SimCity 3000 but much more moddable. Something like that, or something that you can actually make something look pretty in. Obviously, I was introduced to this game by a friend a while back out here, and oh boy, have not been able to stop playing it since, and I figured, you know what, we're already getting ready to revive City Skylines out here, Minecraft's on hold while I try to figure out, you know, what version I want to build Brixenville in, is it going to be 1.17 or 1.12? You can blame some contacts of mine on Bark for that one, by the way, if you're looking for anyone to blame. But yeah, this is just something else right here. Like, this game is kind of like if someone were to take Minecraft and make it into a proper city builder. But anyways, right now we're kind of like building the downtown out here. Yes, I installed an ungodly number of mods, though there are some things that are currently missing in the plugin pack right now. I got plenty of time to fix it, so I should mostly be okay. Obviously, um, there's a lot of stuff that's going on at the moment. A lot of, like, really good things going on. Right now I just got to fight to make sure they happen because of some situations at home that I really, really, really don't want to talk about right now. But anyways, right now we get a few other things going on. I'm trying to experiment with coastal skyscrapers. There really isn't much of a good way to do this right now, obviously, so I'm trying to experiment with it a little bit, make everything look pretty. And eventually I do come up with a relatively nice looking coastline. Bear in mind that this city, actually the center of it, sits on a giant peninsula. I'm actually not kidding. And I don't want to mess with the terrain too much on this map out here. I already kind of feel bad changing the grass out to something. I, I kind of want to change it out to something a little bit brighter than what it currently is right now. That's going to be the other thing too. But right now, not really too focused on that. You know, you got the downtown area. There's going to be a lot more concrete in a heavily developed area like this. And trust me, a downtown skyline is always a pretty sight to see. I'm right now trying to figure out these brick roads. Again, traffic calming is going to be incredibly important. And also, mass transit, I just realized, is going to be important too. I actually forgot to place this in episode one, so, um, oops. I love how I focus on every other detail, but when the brain comes to think about mass transit, that's when my brain just immediately shuts down for some reason. Right now, I'm just trying to figure out what mass transit I want in this city. Obviously, right now, um, as you can pretty clearly see by the water table, I think anything underground like subways realistically wouldn't be an option, so unfortunately no subway stations because this city is giant and it's also very scrunched up between like multiple lakes, hence the name Dragon Lake out here of course even though it's multiple lakes technically. The region itself though is actually technically a nod to um, the friend who introduced me into this game, so that's gonna be fun. <laughs> but anyways, um, it's kind of like scrunched up like that, so naturally you would expect there to be a very high water table, and I'm pretty sure there'd also be a lot of limestone in a place like this, which is not exactly something you can reliably build underground with. I know where I live, it's the same problem right now, where I plan to move to. I'm pretty sure, again, it's going to be the same problem. I mean, you got that shelf to the west out there, so that's going to be fun to deal with. That's why nobody has basements over there. Well, that and hurricanes probably just flood, flood them anyway. That should kind of offer a hint of where I plan to relocate to. But anyways, right now, um, got a few other things going on. I'm currently adding in some seawalls over here and eventually I realized, hey, why do I have this pathway here? It looks like garbage. Let's fix that. Let's move that pathway over, or not move that pathway over. Let's move that tower over. It did take me a second to find it, unfortunately. But once I did, it obviously looked pretty good. I'm also getting some ideas for the extension of the skyline because I do have some ideas on what the extension is going to look like out here. And I think it actually is going to look pretty good. Right now we got a few other things going on at the moment. Got a few um, seawalls to lay down and I would have had something a little bit better but I forgot to install those mods as well too, so I'm kind of using some other, like, you know, decorative props, which don't look too bad, actually. I, I would not count those out if I were you. Those actually kind of look pretty neat for seawalls. I, I feel like I could do a little better, though. Maybe if I could clip buildings or something like that. That, that might actually be ideal, but I don't think that's possible in this game, unfortunately. All I know right now is I'm currently trying to extend our skyline a little bit. Ultimately, I did decide to bulldoze one of the residential skylines, replace it with a commercial. What would be really nice, though, is if we had some mixed-use... I, I know there are real-world mixed-use skyscrapers. I mean, the Burj Khalifa is a good example, but mixed-use is also, from what I can tell, very complicated to put in a city-building game. There's only two that I've ever played that, um happen to have it and that would be what was it again city state 2 and city skylines 2 both of them have it none others out here i can kind of pseudo create it in city skylines and we'll be in that game tomorrow so yeah that's definitely gonna be fun out here but right now what we need 
to focus on is this game right here because this is kind of our project right now we got another skyscraper coming up out here that's gonna be a pretty common theme and yes i do put a park immediately to the west of downtown though i do have some different plans for it right now i've got those parks as kind of like a placeholder so i know exactly what size the actual pride park is going to be because again pride park is going to be a tradition in builds like this i'm gonna have to find the mods in order to make this work out here there's really no nice way for me to say it. and you can also see me experimenting with other parts of the core downtown as well i wanted to originally make this a much larger cluster of towers but ultimately i decided that would be a pretty bad idea i, I mean it just looked like garbage if you're wanting my opinion so ultimately i made a few changes to how that's going to work and added in some more pathways too because again walkability is going to be incredibly important in a city like this you're going to see me focus on that a lot urbanist in me says i should absolutely focus on it and of course you're going to see me focus as i said on details quite a lot as well and of course you know decided to add i think it's right up ahead where i decided to add the youtube statue over here and we add another main road in downtown on top making sure that the um, downtown is nice and rounded out here because I don't think we're done with it yet, but I definitely kind of have the skyline looking the way that I want it. YouTube statue, because why the hell not? And of course, you know, we add in a few more towers out here. We got some more dense residential we're placing down. We are definitely making this area very heavily developed, and you know what? I I'm actually cool with that. And of course, it automatically saves out here too. Maybe I should turn off the auto save. I don't know. I, I feel like that's kind of interfering with the video. But what's not interfering is the crosswalks. And then there's also a few street lights I put down as well. You might also notice I did forget to put down some of the medians. I'm like, ah, oh, crap. I should probably do that right about now. I am kind of messing around with some more of the seawalls out here. Kind of like deciding when the boundary of the beach side downtown is going to end up properly going. Adding in some smaller skyscrapers over here. Make sure everything looks good there. I kind of like that green one, actually. That one actually does look pretty cool. And then, of course, I'm adding some street lights, a few other props as well. We're adding in some decorations, last of the sea walls. And then I realized, oh, right, um, the the road um, median is kind of like missing. That's not good. Well, I do realize that just a second. Right now, I'm trying to kind of like plan out the area for the Pride Park. Right now, it's kind of got a bit of a placeholder structure, but it, it is definitely going to look really nice. I will publicly guarantee that. But yeah, we're kind of trying to add that in. I have the Unity Park installed, but what I was missing was some of the terrain pieces I would have needed and the Love Park. Both of those absolutely are needed if I'm going to actually build a proper Pride Park because, well, I hate to be that guy, but yeah, we mean Pride in that sense out here. Listen, I, I run an accepting community out here and I'm a pan fanboy myself, so it's kind of going to be mandatory. But anyways, you can see me adding in some of the um, median stuff out here too. I think it does look pretty cool. Obviously, it might be due for some change, and we also have some street lights out here. But anyways, we're getting pretty close to the end of this video, so I'm going to go ahead and do the sign-offs here. If you did go on to enjoy, you know what to do. You had a reminder three minutes in. Can I have another reminder come up at the end screen? I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye for now, and have a great day and night, no matter what.